You have inherited your father's responsibilities. They come at a cost. I love her. You start fundamentally with your script. Um, that is your, that's your Bible, you know. And you read and read and read, oh, this, this is what I do anyway. You just read and read and read. And there has to be something in you that connects with the character. And then you just start to layer it. You start to layer it. You start to understand the circumstances they are in, the dilemmas they are in, and how would they behave? Because everybody is an individual. Everybody plays a game, and especially in Game of Thrones, nobody is what they seem to be. So there's always an agenda hidden somewhere. So it's it's about subtlety. But a Catelyn is is a passionate, loving, strong woman, and who's fiercely protective of her family. And she was in a very happy marriage to, you know, to Ned. I nearly said Sean. <laughs> um, uh, so, you know, ultimately she, you know, she, you can say that she starts off in a relatively happy place. But how happy is anybody in, in the worlds of George R. R. Martin? You know, because there's so much peripheral stuff, which is bad energy, evil, power, revenge. I heard some of the men talking about the comet. So it's an omen. The comet means one thing, boy. Dragons. The craftsmanship and of the of the artisans involved in creating this world is just sublime. They're the best, absolutely. And you walk onto sets, and you are genuinely in a world. You have everything is original for that world. I mean, the costumes for a start, the props, like the tables, the chairs. You know, when a raven brings a message, they have the most beautiful parchment paper, which comes with a, a seal, with the red seal, which you have to snap open, and it's with the ring of whoever has sent it of the family sigil and then it's beautifully written everything is original on that set when my dragons are grown we will lay waste to armies and burn cities to the ground i think george has created a world which is so character driven and the issues that these characters care about the the external influences which drive them which are power greed wealth you know, lust, you know, um, and it is power, revenge. Uh, these are issues that a lot of us deal with in our lives, you know, to a, to a certain level. It's about basic, basic existence.